Hey guys, Kyle Klingforth here, uh, design engineer of the TCA, and today I'm going to show you how to pop in the lower ball inserts into the A-arm and how to make sure that the arms are free uh, on the chassis for the best performance. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to see the lower ball inserts uh, in your kit. They're going to come on this tree. You're going to go ahead and twist a set of these off. And then you'll notice you'll have a small little nub still left over on uh, the plastic here. You want to make sure you trim that off. If you don't trim that off, the uh, insert will most likely fit tight in the arm. So we're going to take this with an X-Acto blade and just do a little trimming like you should be doing on most of the plastic uh, trees on this car. So you see that's now flush and it should no longer be a problem. <clears throat> You're going to take your um, arm here and I already have one press into this arm and the two screws from the first step of the kit installed and then you're gonna see uh, two orientations of this one has two notches the other side is uh, just has a cylindrical face and you want to take this lower ball insert and set it in there on the side like this so it should be sitting in just like that and then you have two options of how you can press this in you can either take some needle nose pliers like this go on the edge here and kind of squeeze these together and then push down from the top with your hand or the way i like to do it is you can just do both those same steps but with your thumb and the top of your hand instead so i take this i'll press this in and then just push down from the top and press that in there and then sometimes you'll notice these might not be seated perfectly straight like this one is as an example so you can just squeeze down on top here and just rotate these uh, pretty easily like that. Uh, and that's how you install this. And then from there, you'll uh, take this and then with the balls already installed on the chassis, just take these and then just press down. And then from there, um, I usually like to take the arms and just kind of work it up and down. This allows the insert to make sure it's 100% seated right so you get a free lower arm. And that's it. All right, so next, if you have an arm and you want to remove these uh, lower ball inserts, it's pretty easy to do, just, uh, just a little bit of a technique. So you take it, the two notches sitting on top of the arm there, take some needle nose pliers. All you're going to do is take the needle nose in there, pinch this, and then twist it about 45 degrees so it sits there and it looks like it's um, kind of scrunched. And then this, I usually take like a 5.5 nut driver or your uh, wheel nut driver could work too. And then you're just going to take this on the edge and then just press down. And then it kind of pops out like that and then it comes out. So then you can use this arm or this uh, pivot ball uh, on different sets of arms. Uh, additionally, uh, if you end up getting a tight arm and you're you know bolting it to the chassis and you can't get it to move very freely like this, um, something you can do... Um, on top of trimming that first uh, ball insert is you can actually go in with either a Dremel or a hobby knife and just remove a really small amount of material on the inside where uh, the ball insert meets with the part. And that right there will open that up and allow it to uh, fit much nicer. Uh, optionally, if you have a ball cup reamer, you could also take the ball cup reamer and instead of doing that, you can just take this guy pop it in there and if the ball cup is tight you'll feel it with the reamer itself and you can clear out that extra material that's uh, being squeezed by the arm if it's sitting a little bit too tight in there. Uh, both of those will also help uh, keep the arms free on the chassis.